try to do better tomorrow than you did today. James C. Collins. Welcome back to the homestead, y'all. Well, we made it back with our 20 solar panels, um, the 4.2 kilowatt system that we were blessed to get. We went to an estate sale the other day and they had a 4.2 kilowatt system on a ground mount. And you can see here, these, this is the bottom part for the racking on the ground mount. Um, there's some pieces there and a bunch more pieces in the back of the truck. Uh, I'm fortunate to make it back. I hear the rain starting now. All morning long, my wife and I have been working hard trying to get it uninstalled and get it loaded on the trailer, drive 40 miles back to our homestead here and get it here before the rain. And like I said, I can hear the rain starting right now. So we just barely did make it back. Um, <laughs> sneaky Pete checking out the panels. But anyhow, this is a 42 kilowatt or 4.2 kilowatt system. Uh, we got the inverter with it. It is a 6.8 kilowatt inverter, but it's a 40 to an 80 volt. And we run 24 volt systems here on the homestead. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it or whether I'm going to sell it and buy a 24 volt system. But this entire system was new. It was installed about two years ago or three years ago, and they never got it wired up. So the panels have been sitting out, the hook to the racking system, but the inverter was never hooked up. It was still brand new. It was um, still there in the box. So we were fortunate enough to get the Snyder inverter. It's a 6.8 kilowatt inverter. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll take you along our journey. We have to clean all these panels still yet. We're gonna stack them in a stall from now. And then I'm gonna have to pour some concrete footers for the, uh, for the ground mount system. All the cats are just curious, they're checking it out. Uh, but I'll be recording that the whole way. I didn't record the uninstall. Um, I was gonna do a time lapse on that, but there's still a bunch of people around. And I didn't wanna set my camera up in the way and um, have somebody trip over it or hurt somebody or hurt the camera. So I did do a little bit of video back and forth with my cell phone to, just to show, and I'll insert that here in just a minute. But follow us on our journey. This is gonna double our solar power. Uh, right now we're a little over four kilowatts of solar and almost six kilowatts of wind. But this is gonna double our solar power and give us all the power we need. Of course, I have it backed in the barn. We just got, got the barn built. So this is gonna give us plenty of power for the barn and for my shop here in the barn. So we're very excited to get these, get them cleaned up and get them reinstalled here on our homestead. Um, we're definitely blessed to, to get them and we feel very fortunate to be able to get a, a system of this size. Well, we have all the solar panels off. It's 20 210 watt panels. Let me show you the racking system. All right, this is the ground mount rack. Fix and take it down, load it on the trailer, take it back to the homestead. been a job getting these panels off but we're excited to get them back home so we're excited so watch for future videos if you have any questions or comments uh, about this or how we purchased purchased it please leave it below and at the end of the series I'll go through what I have at cost wise in the whole system I'm gonna have to purchase some more batteries somewhere I don't know if I'm gonna go with used batteries, forklift batteries, I'm not sure, what, or lithium batteries. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there yet. I'm gonna to have to do a little bit more research, but I'll take you along step by step. I'll show you how we do it. The first thing will be deciding where we're gonna put the, the ground mount and pouring footers for it because we get so much wind up here, I'm gonna to have to concrete that into the ground. There's, there's no way around it. So that'll be the first step. That'll be the first videos laying out for this. this uh, the racking system was 25 feet long and 12 feet wide and a little over seven feet tall. 
So it's a pretty good size uh, racking system, so I'm gonna have to get that figured out. But I'll make videos step by step on how to lay out the racking system, how to mount the solar panels on it, and then wiring them in, putting our conduit in the ground and wiring them into an inverter. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.